Marlene Carson says when she was 15, her neighbors told her they were taking her on a trip to New York City. She says they actually forced her to work as a prostitute. I was deceived into believing that we were going on a trip and it turned out to be exploitation. And no, you cannot call your family. You can't, you don't have access to phones or, and someone's always watching you. So the fear of it all will actually keep you trapped. Dr. Carson shared her story of survival at the Known Conference at Wellspring Church in State College. She was one of six speakers that hoped to end sex trafficking by educating communities on the subject, because they say it's happening all over the country, even in rural communities in central Pennsylvania. Where we see the familial trafficking, so that is where the trafficker is known to the victim. Um, whether it be a, a parent, as we saw, um, an uncle, an acquaintance, or someone who plays the role of boyfriend. We have football games, large football games, and other similar um, big events throughout the year when there are people coming in, when there are people spending money, and there are people potentially doing other other illegal things, right, that we know that um, traffickers are going to prey on that. When you're at these large events, the panel says not to wander alone, never accept bribes from strangers, and don't leave with anyone you don't know.